let me take a sip of tea because I really like this topic and different versions of Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, I did this here on the screen and you may think, my gosh, how do I remember all those versions, all those differences? Well, it's not like that. If you are on the current versions and if you are starting on those versions, those previous ones are irrelevant to you. I just would like to highlight that until Office 2003, we didn't have this ribbon system, which is like that. Previously, we had the options right here and we didn't have this nice distinction between categories. Since Office 2007, this version for Windows, this system has been introduced. And now we are designing and preparing everything by selecting the appropriate function here on the top side in the ribbon, selecting it and then working with it. Office approximately, the Microsoft did a new version of the Office suit. About each three years, a new version is appearing and right now the 2019 version as well will be the newcomer in a few months. What I'm really angry and mad about is that for Mac versions, the Mac versions wasn't exactly the same as the Office versions and this is a completely bad, bad play by Microsoft because I believe the Mac version and the Windows version should be identical. From what I heard, the newest version, Mac 2016 version and if there will be a 2019 version, they are trying to merge the versions together and make them very similar. Why am I telling you this? Because plenty of you possibly will use a Mac computer to work with PowerPoint. This is absolutely no problem. You will be able to do 90% of the things which I teach here, but I cannot, I cannot vouch that everything will be exactly the same. The Mac version is a little different in its layout and it is lacking a few functions. For example, the 2016 version is already much better, but the Mac 2011 version didn't have the selection pane. And you may think, what do I need the selection pane for? Well, you can work without it, it's no problem. Just the selection pane, I'll show it to you. I'll click select, selection pane. It's a little pane here, and this pane shows me all the objects which are on this screen. For example, if I click on this, I know that this is rectangle tree. I can even go into here and I can rename it. This is very useful because sometimes you cover one thing with another thing, then you have trouble selecting it. As you can see here, it's, it's difficult to select the one in the back. So I just click here, boom, it's selected. I can even use my arrow keys now to reposition it or I can simply deselect it. There is an article, um, someone from Bright Carbon, and I thank them for, for writing this because I cannot test I don't use a Mac version, I cannot tell you exactly where, where the differences are, but many of my students are reporting what is, mi what is missing and we are communicating back and forth. And from what we gathered, as you can see, the, like most the most important function that, that is missing is the selection pane, the quick access toolbar, like there is no animation timeline. This might seem like irrelevant to you now, but I just wanted to highlight that there are differences between versions. The general rule of thumb will be the newer the better. I'm currently working at a beta version of 2019, but the official released version at this point, and it's the end of 2018, is the 2016 version. So if you are using a Mac 2016 version or an Office, I mean Windows 2016 version, this is really this is really good, but soon, in like half a year or a few months, Office 2019 will be released and I'm not entirely sure if it will be also available as a one-time purchase, because I'm on the subscription model, I'm purchasing the Office 365 subscription and it gives me always the newest iteration of the program. Also, people who did buy the one-time buy Office 2016 version didn't get all the newest updates which the Office 365 subscription model gets. So it's always beneficial to use this version, but it's really not as crucial. 
I'm of course not selling here. Nobody is paying me to, to promote this. I just personally like the software and wanted to explain you the differences. Let's finally proceed to what the program actually is and let's start to work because I believe I was blabbing on in this section too long. Perhaps it's the tea. Maybe I made it too strong and now I can't get the content probably together. Let's see each other in the next lecture and we'll start the serious work now. So get concentrated because this is enough of introduction. Let's dive deeper into PowerPoint.